Okay. It says on live. So we'll wait for people to come in. Give it a couple. It usually doesn't take long. I'll try and pull this up on my other computer. Hopefully notifications. Oh, come on, YouTube. Hey, Dee Dee. Getting things set up. How does it look, Dee Dee? Does it look okay? I know there's a little bit of glare up here. Hopefully when I start doing it, that glare is going to go away. Hi, Gina. I'm going to assume that notifications out. Okay, good. Thank you, Dee Dee. There was a little autofocus that looked like. I know autofocus is off. Let me check real quick. But I know I, I did that. Yep, autofocus is off. All right. Just must have been a funny little thing. Won't be so glary, I hope, when I get the other book out. That's what I'm hoping. Hi, Joan. Hi, Christy. Hi, Joy, Karen. Bill, D, Nancy. Working and lurking. You do it, girl. Thank you, Gina. So, yeah, we'll just wait for a few minutes for people to come in. If you're sitting there doing nothing and you want to, you could hit that thumbs up. Or thumbs down. On. It's all interaction. All is the same to me. So, yeah. So, it's Monday. Monday. Thank you, Carla. Hi, by the way. So, anyway. Um, hi, Val. If you watched Dee Dee last Thursday. Dee Dee and I streamed together last Thursday. And, and I think we're going to try and put again. It did, Lena. I sent you a message. It did. And honestly, I can't tell you anything in the world could not have made me happier than getting that box. It was just like, oh, I so needed this. I so needed it. It could be. Well, I can't say toilet paper in there because <clears throat> toilet paper has become valuable. But it could be something I don't even want and I'm still going to love it. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to open that. I haven't. It's only been here like an hour or so. You don't get up early enough to watch. Well, you know, that's the good thing about streaming. It's recorded, so if you want to sleep in, you can always come back and watch it later. But when, if you come back and watch it later on YouTube, please don't turn off ads. Um, hi, Mary Lou. A lot of people back in the day with Ustream had loaded um, ad blocker and stuff like that. But if you want to support streamers, turn off your ad blocker um, because the only way you actually could make those few little pennies <laughs> that you make, and honestly, it's not much. Don't think that people who rise are getting rich here because we're not. Um, but you got to turn off the ad blocker. Thank you, Gina. Yeah, um, because if the ad don't run it doesn't count so just a word I don't know how many people really know that that if you really want to support your streamer friends you they can make a few pennies if you'll just watch the two seconds of ads or if you watch the full minute that too so yeah that's my little free lecture for the day hi cat anybody I might have missed Mary Lou Auntie Loopy cute. I hated the ad blocker I had on my PC for a short time. Not only did it block ads, but it slipped. Well, that's true too. And I noticed like, like I've started news um, online. Like I go to websites and read it rather than listening to mainstream media who I don't trust at all. So a lot of places you have to whitelist. Um, so you can do that. You can still run ad blocker, but just whitelist the things you want to be able to go 
just a little tip for free there. I'm full of free advice today, right? Anyway, if you were there Thursday when Dee Dee and I streamed, I was working on, I'll set this aside and we'll let a few more people come in so everybody can enjoy all the goodness. Um, I was working on this painting um, when Dee Dee and I streamed the other day and I went ahead after we finished and um, and finished it on my own. You know, just the detail, the lines and the stenciling. So this is actually really mixed media piece because I did the white is actually a paint. But I'm happy with the way it came out. And I wish I hadn't made the couple of boo-boos that I made. But um, thank you, Gail. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. And the couple little boo-boos I'm going to live with. And when I come compare it to the previous paintings that I've done of this exact piece of art. Um, this is by far my favorite. I like the colors. I like the stripes in the background, really contrasts the flowers. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. But yeah, I, I goofed up a couple of places, but it's okay. I love it. I love it too. And I'm actually going to probably turn this one into to a print. I like it that well that I'm going to go ahead and thanks you guys. I'm going to go ahead and um, take it and made. So I just love that. It, the For those of you who may have missed it, I did this out of the Making Your Mark book by Carlin Holman. And I have not posted the art for this, but when I do, I will go ahead and, and tag her on it. Um, I just love this book so much and I have the next one already picked out and drawn. I'm going to do, let me see if I can find it real quick, sitting around waiting anyway. This is the next one I've chosen to do. I'm not sure that I'm going to use her colors. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do the back thing kind of the same, you know, because I love that just the mixtures of colors and how the watercolor works. Um, wet well, of all the watercolor techniques that's by far my favorite um, but I'm not I don't know if I'll use these exact colors I like the green and the together but I thought I'd like it a little bit more blue so I think I'm going to do a little bit more blue on mine of course when I'm looking at it green it, it's showing quite a bit of blue but I don't know it, it's going to come out like it comes out but that's the next one I'm going to work work on. Not sure if I'm going to work on it on stream. That's not what I'm going to plan. That's not what I plan to do today because today I planned a very low stress um, stream. And the reason for that is um, Friday night I had to put my cat down. And <clears throat> it's been hard. It's been so hard. I had a crapple I mean I knew it, we knew it was coming so it wasn't like it came out of the blue or anything but it definitely jacked with my weekend hi CB yeah so you guys shouldn't be surprised I've talked about it uh, she had just she was almost 19 she was 18 and a half almost to the day so she was going on 18 and she's been having some little bit of problem there and so I've been preparing myself god poor Dee, Dee has listened to this for months every day the Roxy update you know what went with Roxy and um so the decision just had to be made it was just time and if you love your pet you know you you want what's best for it and I think I did what's best for her now you just live with the aftermath you know and um when I'm sad, naturally I cried, but when I'm sad, my stomach is just like a volcano getting ready to burst, you guys. It's just like my stomach is so jacked up. And I wanted to stream today because, one, I wanted to tell you guys that you're part of my family, so I, I have to tell you, um, I haven't really told anybody. I haven't called anybody in my family. I haven't told anybody. So. So Dee Dee was 
that I told. And that was just about an hour ago. So all weekend, I pretty much just wallowed in my sadness. And I think that I'm okay with that. And now I can say the words without just breaking down. And that's a good thing. That's one step toward healing. And I know that everything will get better. You know, I mean, go ahead and just feel what you got to feel. So that's where we're at. So I don't know how long I'm going to be able to endure today. I'll do my best for as long as I can. I promise you that. Um, but, yeah, my stomach is an absolute freaking right now. So what do I do? I drink iced coffee because, yeah, there's nothing better for a sick stomach than a bunch of caffeine. And you wouldn't want to put food on that sick stomach, which I can't eat, so it's okay. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in this art joy sake because this is like zero stress and I picked out this painting kind of dragged me but um yeah I just figured that is uber low stress thanks you guys I appreciate it I really do um and she did this one with the Bria Reese um watercolor inks which I have have them I got them sale at Hobby Lobby when they did that huge clearance so I got these for like I don't even know if it was a dollar each really um well that's cool because I actually have the product otherwise I would have just used um watercolor hi Sharon um so that's to work on but before we do that I want to open my super duper special present for Denmark. I'm so excited. So here we go. I've waited long enough. Look at it. It's so pretty. I mean, I guess I'm going to have to cut it, Lena. No, I can just pull it around the side. The paper's pretty. Well, Gail, before you buy them, wait and see. I think the, the difference between these and watercolor, when these are dry, they're going to be permanent because they are ink. And that's the difference. She wrapped it all so pretty. I did, oh, yeah, heads up. I didn't wrap your stuff <laughs> in gift wrap. I put it all in the box, but I didn't wrap it pretty. And I wish it would get there. I wish it would get there today. But I don't know. Oh, my God. No way. No way. No way. <gasps> oh, she knows how much I love teens. Oh, my God. <sighs> hmm. Look at that chunky monkey, would you? Oh, my God. Lena, this is gorgeous. Leather covers. This is, I think, isn't that the Midori um, pen loop, Lena? I think it is. Oh, gee. It feels good. It's weighted very nice. We've got to find paper now. It's a calligraphy nib, and she even inked it up. And I'm um, not doing the calligraphy correctly. I know. You can smell it from here. I need some light. I need. Right's really nice.
and this is not the best paper this is watercolor paper you should not probably not use watercolor paper with a fountain pen just saying the texture of the paper oh lena i love it i love it and these will stay together now they will be forever friends I put that on upside down. What a dope. It is amazing, right? And I'm shaken. Probably from no food, frankly. Oh. <laughs> I had a fucks producer rat's ass. Oh my god. I actually drew this for Lena and I sent it off in FIFA. Um sorry for the nasty word, but that's part of life. Um I sent it off and didn't keep a copy. Oh my god, it's perfect. Oh I love it. I love everything. Look at look at how Alina, this is so special. She's got everything like riveted together. Ah, oh, it's just so awesome. Here's a little pocket. A sticker for my beast. And it looks like she drew it. There you go. Oh my gosh. That's going in front of the beast. Well, the the thing is, sometimes somewhere on Lena's channel, um, there's of that whole zine that I did, and it was all about Lena. And I'm sure that that was meaningful at the time. I can't remember what was going on, but yeah. Ah, how perfect is this? All things in here little envelopes maybe she, did she, you didn't draw that it sure looks like you did little inserts lena you took so much time doing this thank you oh my god this comes out yeah it does i'd read that but i don't speak the language i love old postcards an old handwriting. This went to Marie Christopher in Copenhagen. What's the date? 26519. Because they do, it would be May 26, probably 1919. So that's over um, 100 years. That's from Germany to Denmark. Okay. Yeah, because it's a, a German stamp, and it went to um, Denmark. Oh, how awesome is that? And then you got to wonder, is that that scene just like it is there with the old house or, or old churches? Could you go there today and see that same thing? Probably different boats. Parchment. She made me a copy of the entire zine. Well, I can show you the entire zine now. The awesome zine. This is a hilarious zine that you gifted me. I want to send it to your growing collection of awesome zines. Love from Lena. Oh, love back at you, Lena. This is a zine if you haven't seen it. Um, I did it all about Lena at the time. Um, this month's spot on Denmark's Miss Lena Miss Linux 2020, which is her um, YouTube channel name, also known as Lena Schweiker. Probably not pronouncing that right, and I'm I apologize because I speak Oki. Here's just a few of her life accomplishments: mother of her wife of hubby, successful business. She literally has the cleanest oven in the entire world. If you've never seen the penis oven you need to scour the internet until you find it you could literally lick her oven it's so clean she uses it as a light box that's how it is 
mine has ooze coming out of it when you open the door. Just saying. And she did win um, the cleanest oven contest that I held. She's a home renovation expert because I think her home renovation went on longer than Norma's. Norma's has been going on two years almost. Um, practical joker, unsurpassed sense of humor, and a fabulous artist. And I, that is every bit of it is true. Sewer rats spotted. Sewer rats have been spotted in a Peter's killed. That's her neighborhood. Thanks to a company installers. A local cat was seen diminishing the number, carrying off carcasses as gifts to his mama. Her cat brought her um, car carcasses. The trouble with being in the rat race is that even if you win the race, you're still a rat. And I drew, I, that's actually a rubber stamp that I have. But the little rat, I drew on it. He's damn cute. I forgot how cute he is. Unlikely stripper. I've forgotten this. It's been about two months since an unlikely stripper made his debut on Miss Linux 2020 YouTube channel during the FIB New Year's Eve streamathon. And I wish you guys could and watch that stream. It was the New Year's Eve one. Lena had the funniest 45 minutes or an hour or however long she was um, in the entire day. I'm not kidding. Lena has a blow-up doll and plumber. And his name is Roy. And Roy made an appearance that night and um, a stripper. So, um, his appearance with the esteemed Lena was a huge hit and rocketed him to stardom. The behavior of the mid fish audience, which I think I was being kind to us by saying mid-50, I'm not mid-50 anymore, was quite embarrassing and immature overall a previous Eve debut. Plumbing problems? Call Roy. 1-800-FIX-POO. <laughs> Where do I think up that crap? The Clean Oven Contest winner. We are proud to announce that the winner of the cleanest oven in the Northern Hemisphere has been chosen. Congratulations to Miss Lena Schweiker of Pekel, Denmark. Microbiologists from around the world have weighed in, stating that household pests are in danger of extinction if Lena's oven cleaning methods are cockroaches beware. Need a stripper? Call Roy, 1-800-GET-NUDE. <laughs> God, this was fun to do. Hunted, hunky handyman, tight pants, nice eyes, tool belt required, 1-800-HUNKY-MAN. Plumber, nice long snake, belt or suspenders required, 1-800-FIX-POO. Rat carcass removal, shovel, plastic bag, clothespin required, 1-AT-ROTS. Nude male models, no clothes required, 1-800-I-DROOLS. I should have put 1-800-ROTS. 100 call I think. Cannabis tester. I don't want to smoke alone. 1 800 get high. <laughs> and an oven cleaner. Ha 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 ha. 1 800 dumb hanging oven. And then the back. I ran out of fucks, but here's a rat's ass. That's funny. I love that. Thank you for sending me a copy, Lena. I can't believe to keep one when I sent it to you. And I have been in the mood. To do another zine. So I might have to put on my funny hat. hat is broken right now but I'm pretty sure it's gonna come back I will definitely get my funny hat back I'm certain of it it's before but it always comes back I I'm not sure I can take that out of here Lena it may just have to live in here like a museum or, or something and I don't know what kind of paper this is but it's awesome so when I get a new TN do you guys do this when you get a new TN like it needs its own purpose you know what I'm so now I have to figure out this one's purpose and it's got to be a special purpose that stream will go down in true cat that was the funniest thing but you guys can't watch it now because she had to take it down I'm not sure why because there's certainly a links on YouTube, you know. This can't make a 
Thorsons. Horsons. I don't know. It's gorgeous, though. Where'd you get these? Schwanspiegel Mitt. Now, Mitt, I do know, is um, German. Because the only German I can speak is Ich liebe dich mit Luftpost. Which, I had a girl that worked for me that spoke German. And Ich liebe, and I'm sure I'm not saying it with the right accent or whatever, but that means I love you. And I don't know, one day, I put Ich liebe dich mit Luftpost and BJ was laughing because she said, you just said I love you by airmail. <laughs> we got him. Well, you've got him trained really well. This kind of reminds me of um, the Ugly Duck zine. Dusseldorf. Okay, so these, they appear to be all German. Or maybe, no, this is to Denmark again. So my guess is this may be all from the same person. I don't know. The mysteries. But some of this for years and years because it probably meant something to them. Much like I'll keep this because it will mean something to me. Look at every little detail. Every little detail she's got going on here. This is flag, a flag. Okay, it does have sticky on my hubby okay this is just so special so special Lena I can't even tell you keep calm and rain on that's gonna be my new motto keep calm and rain on because that would be me in my Victorian garb raining on look at this cool clip ah oh, this is a cool clip very steampunkish to my dearest sweet friend okay i'm going to read it before i let everybody read it Oh, my God, Lena, you are so excellent. You are so excellent. I'll read you the letter. To my, my dearest sweet Janet, I hope this letter finds you well and that the U.S. Customs Agency didn't split the special TN up. The Order of Solomon's Templar Knight, working under the crown of the Danish Queen, have trusted me to hide the very first nine centimeters, <laughs> a ruler with one quarter of the coordinates patient of the Holy Grail. I'm sorry to put this heavy burden of forever, forever hiding this valuable treasure, but I can no longer keep it safe. But enemies of the faith in the kingdom are getting closer. I see them every day, disguised as slow, <laughs> as slow-witted customers of my store. They have come here in search of the ruler that rules them all. You are the only person who I... who I, through love, trust to carry this torch. It requires a highly intelligent and lucidly person with great respect. God bless you, my best friend. Love, Lena Schweiker. Oh, my God. This is just like the most treasured thing ever. Ever. Oh, my God. That is so awesome. And then I got lined paper. I may have to do a whole story about the Knights Templar. Our Knights Hero. The ruler was passed to me from the Danish resistance. Mr. Pink had it hidden in his anus during the German occupation under Sekor in the years 1939 to 1945. God bless him too. <laughs> Oh my God, this is priceless. This is priceless. Look it. She cut up a ruler and it has a crown. All in this book. Ah! Oh! And it's got rulers everywhere. If anything could be more perfect, I cannot even imagine what it 
would be. I can't imagine what it would be. It's so beautiful, Lena. It is so utterly beautiful. Check it out. This would be a lettering guide for large lettering, which you can never have too much of. Sitting right there forever, hope. I hope she just, I hope so too. And a little stash compartment. Moments captured. Everything is so well done, you guys. If I could even describe to you how beautifully done this is. She has a special talent. Of course, everything she does is beautiful. So um, she sent me a water brush. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Okay. Ostrich. <laughs> the wise ant with corona hairstyle. Oh, my God. I can't believe I got an original wise ant. An original wise ant. Can you believe that? And her glasses are like, I don't know if that's a sticker. It's got to be a sticker. Oh, oh, my God. If you're not familiar with the wise ant, I really believe that this is probably Lena's alter ego. But you have to. You go back to Lena and watch her flip of her wise aunt. She did this for an exhibit. Um, did, I think C beached her. Anyway, she came up with this cartoon character, and this is based on somebody in her life. Um, but wise aunt, I know, is Lena's alter ego. I know it is. And the crazy thing about the wise aunt is she has on. Spark eyeshadow. Can you guys see that? She has on sparkly eyeshadow. Oh, I love the ant too. Like the, and it actually makes me want to come up with my own alter ego, which you guys know. And I just need to sit down and do it. And maybe that's what I should do while I'm funky right now, because I'm not motivated otherwise. Um, my alter ego is a. 12 year old boy so I need to come up with I don't know see I had picked out the name Zippy before we met Zippy the unicorn so I might have to change his name um, but yeah my alter ego will be a 12 year old boy because that's anything a 12 year old boy would find funny that's me this feels like caddy paper lean it, it's awesome. It's watercolor paper, so I will be watercoloring in here. Maybe I'll have to make up adventures for the wise ant. Well, maybe my alter ego, my 12-year-old boy, could have a monkey for a pet. And he could act like Robert, who acts very monkey-like at times. And the vellum in here is beautiful. Everything about this is just mind-boggling beautiful and peerless watercolors I don't have any of these thank you Lena these are awesome I have a small set of peerless but I don't have this and if you're not familiar with peerless um, peerless is watercolor that is somehow applied printing to um, these papers and I'll just take a little bit off of one of them so you can see just dip your water brush in and they're highly highly pigmented I mean they're they're really good quality watercolors so yeah now, I'm not sure why some of them have designs and some do not. Oh, my God. I'm going to so sit and play with this tonight. I'll have to swatch them, of course. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. And then more watercolor paper. Caddy watercolor paper is really nice. It's really nice to work on. It takes water so beautifully. 
Look at she cut this out. All right, this is a film strip. I, I'm going to have to hold it up to the light, and you guys aren't going to be able to see the godmother. Look at it, it's the wise aunt. The five families trust you to hide this rare Michael Corleone microfilm. Oh my gosh. It seems Godfather. Um, Lena can always find a quote from the Godfather to apply to life. I had a whole conversation one, I guess it was one entire weekend, wasn't it, Lena? Where she. We discuss life in Godfather quotes, and I can't see it close enough. Oh, now I want to put it on a film reel so I could see it. Oh, my God, that is so awesome. I will treasure and hide the microfilm, Corleone microfilm, Lena. This is just so utterly beautiful. I don't even know what to say it's so awesome. Nobody's ever anything this amazingly awesome, ever. Some washi tape of luggage and crackle. Everything will stay just like this. I will never, ever take this apart. Caddy paper scraps to make chess swatches. Ah, thanks, Lena. Look at, who would think of that? It's so awesome. Amazingly awesome. Look at that. That is a fat, chunky monkey who's going to live forever. It's so gorgeous. That was so funny. I wonder if I still have those messages, Lena. I could make a game. I'm going to write myself a note because some of those messages that that weekend were so damn funny. I was practically peeing my pants. Godfather quote zine. All right. I see Alina. It will be worked on and will be coming back to you. It is awesome and the timing is perfect. Like this just makes my heart happy and my heart hasn't been happy. But it is now. I will go sit down and go through this, I'll bet, 15 times the rest of the afternoon. I'm not kidding you. Oh, I forgot to put this back. I'll have to come back and watch the video to find out where it went. I think it was, it was on this book. So beautiful. So beautiful. All right. <sighs> Not a problem, Dorothy. You missed this most awesome traveler book that Lena made for me. Um, not the cover. Obviously, she didn't make the cover, I don't think. Of course, I, that wouldn't surprise me either because she so amazing. Um, but you'll have to go back and watch the recording to see the actual contents of the Travelers, no, I have a dilemma of how in the world am I going to put stuff in now. I'm going to have to compete with Lena for the guts. Oh, oh my God, I'm not going to do that. Lena, you're the best. The very best. No. Sucking down some caffeine on my sick stomach. All right, let's get into this. Okay, for those of you who maybe haven't seen this book, this is by Christy Rice, um, The Art for Joy's Sake, Watercolor Journal. And I'm not sure where I originally saw this. Maybe Dee Dee turned me on to it. I don't really remember. But it's really a nice book. She does one page. She um, provides you the art to do the other page. It's stress. She gives you tips for completion. Um, obviously, you don't have to um, do it the way she's, but her little hints and stuff. Um, like, here's a joyful tip. 
You will get paint on your hands. Be okay with paint on your hands. Own the mess. Wash your hands later. It's difficult to make something fabulous if you're always wor worried about making a mess. Just keep plenty of paper towels on hand. For me, that's probably a really good tip because messes do make me a little bit nervous. Now, getting my hands dirty doesn't bother me me that used to bother me but it doesn't my hands don't bother me it's more uncontrolled mess that makes me nervous so I've still got quite a few pages to I love her art I love her free-flowing kind of style um never be afraid to share your work that's a free piece for you guys um because another artist I think is never going to judge you harshly for your work so don't ever embarrass to to show us your work because no matter where any of us is on our journey we've all been where you are you're, none of us have been where Dee, Dee is at obviously because we don't have 50 years invested but that's what we're all striving for right so I would say put your work out there you don't have to feel embarrassed and we're certainly going to cheer you on so you know even if you just share it with a group of um just share it i like this too lena it's like so low, low stress um she put some um recipes in here who would have thought she calls this the best bruschetta ever yeah, I like this a lot. Here's another joyful tip. More saturated inks make for a super satisfying experience. Beginner watercolor sets won't give you that vibrant burst of color. Even just two or three bottles of your favorite colors will make all the difference. I rarely use lip color. I have this, and the only reason I have it is because it was on sale. I never would have bought this at full price. I never would. Um... And I also have some of the Jane Davenport liquids and uh, P. A. Martins um, has some watercolor, liquid watercolor. This is one that I did. I think I did it on stream. This was her original art. And this, I haven't done the detail yet, but this is her original art. This is mine where I haven't gone back and added the black in. So you can do it the way she does it, or you don't have to. I don't always use the exact same color she used. Um, she used Daniel Smith on this, which I didn't have, so I just used what I had. Um, here, I'll read you this, because um, this is quick ways to get really motivated. Hopefully that's in camera. Not wanting to lift a finger except to hit play on the next TV binge. Oh, baby, that's what I did this weekend. I hear you and trust me, every creative soul has their moments. When your soul wants to create but your mind is in a different state, give these spirit lifting tasks. Some of these may feel overly simple, but often we all need often all we need is a slight nudge in the right direction. Diffuse of uplifting essential oils like lemon, sweet, orange, I'm not going to do that cuz I'm worried about scents too. Um Sense like common sense, but odors. Um, sweet orange and grapefruit. Take seven deep breaths nearby, in through the nose, out through the mouth. A loose and sketchy watercolor pattern of fruit coming on. Take a quick walk outside. Now this one I absolutely believe. Take a quick walk outside, even to your front porch or backyard. Promise yourself five minutes to look around and just be in that moment. Time yourself if needed. Get up and and prepare the you'd like to create. Just the act of getting your space ready will be motivating. Make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or whatever it is you like. One of my favorites is a peach ma matcha. I obviously don't do that one. There is something about boiling water, drizzling a bit of honey, and waiting for the crisp fruity tea to brew. As your senses awaken from the aroma, you create creative juices will undoubtedly begin to flow. While waiting for the tea to brew, why not try a quick sketch of the tea tin? And see, that's, I think, part of it, too, is take advantage of the while it's there. Um, 
Hey, G. Brody. Hi, Kevin. Anybody else I missed while I've been running off at the mouth? Um, grab an old painting you never had a chance to finish. There's nothing saying you always need to start fresh with a clean page. There is something invigorating about rescuing that old piece that you never thought would come back to life. That's what I need to do on that purple one is go back and just finish it. You know, it would be a place to start and it would be like low pressure. And I think if you're kind of stuck, um, yeah, just grab something, make yourself do it, even if it's 10 minutes. Um, here's a joyful tip. You can add graphite to wet paper if you enjoy picking up color and moving along the page with your pencil. Stay away from mechanical pencils here though. The sharp tip of the mechanical pencil can damage the paper when wet. Stick to the a traditional wood barrel variety. I like this one. I like the drawing of this one. I'm not crazy about this. The color on the screen is different than the color I'm seeing. More of a green yellow. I would do it more of a rich orange yellow I think. Um, and I think this one is dying for a black background. Hi Janice. So when I do this one, I won't do it like she's done it and I will go ahead and do a black background. You're going to have a background here in a minute that is just awesome. <clears throat> okay, joyful tip. Water-based markers don't give that expressive watercolor so don't get discouraged as, as you first begin. Soon you'll see that the layering of the colors between broad bold marks and small fine details is where the fun is at. So obviously one of these she's done with some markers. But Dee Dee has showed you and I've showed you too how to use your markers and, and turn them into water. Scribble them out on a non-porous sur surface, pick them up with your water brush and you can use them and have colors that you didn't know. Hi Elaine. I like this one. I'm eager to do this one. I like the blues in this one a lot. Here's the best banana bread ever. I actually need to make banana bread. I've got rotten bananas on the counter. And they're so rotten you can smell them. Okay, this one I did on stream. Um, it could use some shading on the orange. Um, I think this one would be really nice with a black background. So, and mine is not like hers, but who cares, right? I want to draw and just do. I love the soft colors um, in this one. Make joy's sake. Here's a joyful tip. Don't worry about mixing colors. Choose a few colors and work straight from your palette. Getting overly concerned about mixing the perfect color inhibits your ability to just paint freely without fear. This is the one with the black background that I really, really like. This is hers, this is mine. Mine is more vibrant because it's hard to get printing ink that looks as vibrant as good watercolors. So, um, you know, mine obviously looks more vibrant, but it's just because of the printing process dulled this one down. But this black background, I really love. Forget rules, forget right, remember joy. So, I like her approach, you know, is just do it because it's joyful, you know. So this is where I'm going to start. And these colors are pretty muted, so that's okay. And I got out all the Bria Reese because I wasn't sure which colors pour them on top of the art that I'm going to work on, right? Okay, bye, Joan. Go have a good day. Okay, obviously this is cadmium yellow. This is a color that I'm going to use. These you can water down or you don't have to. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use them full strength. I and I'm not even going to put the colors on there. So she had orange, yellow. This one is orange. The, the writing on these is so darn small, I can't read it really. I might have to pour more out, but I'd rather not waste it if I can. 
Okay, the reds I have, red kind of purplish, is this is actually pink. There's no pink on there, so I'm not going to use pink. This is medium magenta. Here's crimson. Let's use crimson. I might actually have to water the crimson down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to. That's medium magenta. What the heck? Let's put a little bit of that out. Might use it, might not. I will let these dry um, when I'm done here and use them up. So if there's any left, they really won't go to waste. I'll just use them on something. All right. I don't know if I have much greens. Here's Kelly Green. Probably my least shade of green. Least favorite shade of green. These lids are a little pain in the neck to get back on. Going crooked. Come on. Plastic lids suck. Ugh. All right. Pressing is setting in. I, I'm going to strip these threads if I haven't already. When I is going to need my attention. This is ocean green. These are the only greens I got, so I got to go with them. That an ocean green obviously is a blue green. So maybe to get the greens I want, I'm going to have to resort to some watercolors. Look at this; these lids do not want to go on. Maybe that's why they had to sell the cheapest because the lids don't work. Mm. I do too, got Carla. Look at this one won't go on either. I'll fuss with that later. Then this is phthalo green. I'm going to put some out. Phthalo is kind of a bright green. Maybe it's not the bottles, you guys. Maybe it's me. <laughs> yeah, that one went on. All right, and then I don't have the black, which would make the gray um, background, so I'm just going to use as dark as I have, which is the raw umber, and I'll water it down. So I'm assuming she used black to get that gray background, but yeah. All right, and the, does she have any blue in this? Yeah, there's a little bit of blue in there. I literally have one blue is all I I have. All right, I'll put it out. Just drop or two. Stand Oops. <laughs> that didn't work out so good. Um. All right, here's some free advice. Stand the bottle straight up, then put the lids on. Duh. Okay. Stand them straight up. Oh, okay. Maybe that's gonna work. Duh. You know what? If you were here right now, Elaine, I'd probably hit you up. Side your head. All right, pick the book up. All right. Is that gonna work? You guys want me to um, zoom out so you can see the whole thing? I can only zoom out one. So, hey Julie, glad you could come. Um, and other Julie. I know, that's why I'm not there. Yeah, you're a smart woman. All right. Got some here. And I'm kind of thinking I'm going to wet one thing at a time. I'm not going to wet the whole page because I can't work that fast, right? So, yeah. I'm pretty sure I wash these brushes. I try and wash the, the nice brush every time so let's just jump in this paper um, even though it it's, doesn't feel nice watercolor paper um, it does take water pretty well and this book is available on Amazon um, that's where I ordered it but I really don't remember where I was originally introduced to it 
So wet on wet obviously is what um, it sounds like. Just uh, look at how vibrant that is. Um, I'm going to kind of try and stay away from the edges. Where you just put the wet on the wet and let whatever happens happens and it's awesome. Because you have zero control. None. Yet, because I I'm not sure about these reds. I'm just gonna see what colors the reds are before I draw. Ooh, that's pretty. See what color they are before I just drop them on here. Okay, I like the first one, the crimson. That doesn't even look like the color that it ended up coming out. I'm going to mix, I think, some darker little orange. You won't know what it'll be like because um, it always dries different. Then we'll check. Can you guys see okay? And the reason that slide orange is because I didn't clean my brush real good and that's okay. I don't really care. I'll lift it up so maybe you guys won't have that glare. This is like brainless um, painting. I just, I'm just moving some of the excess. They are watercolor inks, Julie. Um, Bria Reese, I would not have bought them except they were on sale at Hobby Lobby during the Great Purge of 2019, I think. Um, but they're just a fun thing. I'm not sure, and, and I said this when I showed, would never probably have bought them full price. Um, but I think the difference between these and regular watercolor, liquid watercolor, is um, these will be permanent when dry. Most watercolors you can pick up. All right, Elaine, you and your dumb idea is not working. I probably stripped this one. <clears throat> and a dumb idea. All right. And then we'll move all the way down here. And then I'll keep an eye on those ones that I just did and see if, if I want to move things before they completely dry. Because when they dry, um, it's it's a done deal. You're going to be done with these. Add more too, but I don't think you're going to be taking much off, especially with this paper. It's good paper, but it's going to pill if I try and jack with it too much.
So this is, in my opinion, the funnest thing to do with watercolor is just let it do whatever it's going to do. And it has depends on how much water, what kind of paper. Um, I'm not even sure that the um, type of watercolor that you're using matters, honestly. But now, see, it, it's absorbing into the paper, so it's less likely to move at this point. But I can smooth out those shadows a little bit. That's just for the hell of it. I just want to see how they behave. Yeah, there is no picking this up when it's down. So that is a big difference. Full strength, they are bright. And she said, do it full strength. So I'm doing it full strength. Obviously got messy with the water, so it bled a little bit. I don't care. And this paper does stay nice and wet for some period of time, so I can go back in and add and I should not get the wet dry lines they have that's there's a name but I don't know I can't think of it right now my brain has not been working real great but I have an excuse so I'm going to use that for as long as I possibly can um oh I was going to show you guys one of the cutest things that happened. Um, we buried, Robert um, dug a grave for Roxy Friday night before the vet got here. And Amy's husband Lane came down and helped him. And honestly, there are no two nicer people on the planet than Amy and Lane. They're the only people who have known all weekend long. Um, Lane brought me coffee and a gooey bun Saturday morning, probably not understanding that I couldn't really eat. Um, but he stayed and helped Robert dig the grave Friday night. And it was late. It, I mean, the vet didn't get here until 10 at about 7, I guess. And um, the people on the other side, of course, saw something going on out there. There's not many secrets on Monkey Island, believe me. So they had observed going on out in the side yard, right? And came over and talked to Robert. And Robert told him what was going on. And Robert got up. Saturday morning, of course, he had to go out and talk to his girl. Um, and let me show you guys. I got to reach over and get my phone. Um, neighbors have a little, I, she's not five yet. She's probably about four years old, would be my guess. And of course, they had to tell her what was going on, right? Her grandmother had given her some seashells. And look what she did. She went out. And when Robert went out, it was a cross made out of that little girl's seashells. I thought that was the sweetest thing. And the coloring is horrible. But yeah, she made this little cross. And she picked some little flowers and put it on the cross. Can you believe that? She's like four years old. She just, I mean, we've seen her a lot. She, she's she been in our house. and um, But yeah, I just thought that was the sweetest ever for her to pick those little flowers and put a cross. So that will be out in our yard for the rest of history because there's no way I'm ever picking that up. Even with the picture, it is a permanent fixture. Yeah, and the seashells, exactly. So it was just like, oh my gosh, you know, like, 
sometimes if you ever question if there's a God, you should just not even because people out there who remind you why he made us the way he made us. So I wanted to show you guys that. That'd be sad. That actually just completely fills my heart with joy. That that little girl would be so thoughtful that way. Okay, while I'm playing with the yellow orange, I'm going to go ahead and do the really wish I hadn't made that mess up there, but yes, Elaine, I had to make the decision Friday night to go ahead and have Jan come over. So, Petless, we will start traveling sometime soon. She's kind of keep been the that kept us where we are, where we're at. So we won't be getting another pet. Um, she was in and we're ready to go live our lives now, you know. And at least I can talk about it now, you know, without just bawling my head off. Little Roxy is on the Rainbow Bridge. Hopefully her brother came and they did the double eye gouge maneuver on each other. The double eye gouge maneuver is when two cats lay on their sides and kick each other with their um, back feet. Rosie and Roxy were great at that. Exactly, Tambit. Hi, by the way. Hi, Mary Berry. Um, yeah. Like, kids are so pure they're so genuine they're so you know it's just us old people that get cynical and bitchy and i'm good at that too so i perfected that And don't think that I'm sad, you know, um, I'm incredibly sad. Um, but I guess the way I feel about things a lot of times, and maybe it's mechanism, mechanism I don't know. Um, I just feel fortunate to have been able to have her at all. So I'll add those red dots later. You're so sad. Elaine, don't be sad. She never liked your dumb ass anyway. <laughs> Elaine, one time, I guess, was it when Robert went in the hospital for leukemia, Elaine, that you had to come over and take care of Roxy? Because I would never, ever invite anybody over to take care of Roxy because she was, she had an, a really evil side. But Elaine, of course, lived across the street. And she was, you know, bud. So she came over and took care of Roxy. And Roxy was so evil that in her, her litter box upstairs. Normally, if somebody was going to take care of Roxy, I moved the litter box up in the kitchen. So poor Elaine had to go down into the man to get to the litter box. And Roxy would stand at the top of the stairs and hiss and growl at her. That's how mean she could be. So, yeah, 
she didn't like you, but don't worry, she didn't like anybody. Some days she didn't even like me. Most days, actually. But toward the end, we got to be best buds, so we worked out our differences. Right. I don't have the heat gun. Oh, well, I'm just going to go for it. Plugged in, so I can't dry this before I... So I'm just going to go ahead and paint. If I have to go in and use white acrylic later... Part of the deal, man. Part of the deal. All right, this one's going to be red. Kind of feeling like I want to water that. Because, man, that is... Well, let's see how it goes. <gasps> Too late now. We went... And if you thought what I said to is mean don't because she's heard a lot worse <laughs> she's used to me God, these colors are so saturated. They're fun to play with because they are saturated, right? Exactly. That's exactly the way to describe her. Borderline personality. She would love you to one minute, especially if you were feeding her. And then the next minute you were sending me and she didn't mind biting and scratch. And in fact, Friday night she did bite me on the face. I have, I wouldn't show anybody my face. I won't go out in public. Um, for at least a week, because she bit me. I miss you too, Elaine. But I'm very fortunate that I have um, Lane and Amy. They have been absolutely the best neighbors. Not that they replace you, but honestly, I'm so fortunate to have. Good neighbors. And I've always had good neighbors, so I'm lucky that way. Darkening up a little bit of areas right here. Oh, you, you and me both, Elaine. I'm just so fortunate to have them. All right, that's blue. I'm going to add a little... Oh, man, that little bit of blue is a lot of blue. Um, okay, that's the brown, but I'm going to water down a lot. Like a little bit of this goes a long, long ways, you guys. A long ways. I'm going to add this... probably let that dry too much so thing about these inks even though that um has dried i can go ahead and re-wet it now because it's not going to move if this was regular watercolor 
color. I could back in there now and wet this like this because the colors would start moving again. But because it's watercolor ink, I don't have to worry about that. It's going to stay right where it is. So that's kind of a nice thing. Actually forgotten about having these <laughs> Bria Reese until I picked up this book today and it was like, oh, cool, I can use them. They do look like Porter Peaches, right? And I'm going to do this one brown in the center actually after that dries. Maybe, well, I'll do it now. Hopefully it won't move too much. But yeah, rather than she left the center white, I'm going to do it brown. Porter Peaches. We didn't get any this year. Of course, and I haven't been to Walmart in how many months. So even if Walmart had a peaches, Porter, Oklahoma is famous for its peaches. Um, and most of the local stores pay them. But this year, because of the virus, obviously, things have been really, really different. Um, we would normally have driven down to the orchard, but we didn't this year. So, yeah, we I did not get good peaches this year. Didn't even drive over to Tawny Town. And if you've never had a peach right out of the orchard, you have never, ever lived life. Thanks, Mary. White peaches. You know what? White peaches to me seem like a Christmas. I don't know where my mother always got them. But we always got peaches um, at Christmas time. I don't think I've ever even seen them down at Order and they have every kind of peach, believe me. But we always got white peaches at Christmas time. I'm sure they were imported from freaking Argentina or something. Lena, I'm flabbergasted at that traveler's notebook. Flabbergasted. Golly, there, a little bit of this goes a long, long way. I'll come back in and put some more shadow in after it dries a little bit because right now I'm spreading it so thin I can't keep it where I want it. That's okay. It looks a mess. We've had apples, cherries, apricots out of the Okanogan Valley Orchards. Oh, yeah, Jane, I'll bet that was delicious. Georgia Bells are really... Yeah, see, well, those of you who um, live in Georgia, um, me too, Lena. Um, yeah, you guys have good orchards too. And I think it's just the climate, you know, we did because we're just about um, equal latitude with Georgia. I think it's just the where you're at, whether or not you can grow really good peaches. I never had a good in Colorado, ever. I promise you. I'm pretty sure nobody, if you've never left Colorado or grew up there, you never had a good peach ever in your life. I didn't know how peaches, how good peaches could taste until I left Colorado. Right. 
And the white flowers are going to stay white. We'll add some red back later, but let's do some leaves because we can. I'll just start work my way down. All right, let's do a little test first because I don't, I don't know about these greens, you guys. Okay, that's a real light, light, light green, which is good. Don't mind that. Oh. Hmm. Okay, there's the dark green that I wanted. And that's the blue green. That's brown. And then the blue. The blue I'm going to have to seriously, seriously water down. So I'm just going to load it up with water now. Um, actually, the blue that is on the sheet is more like cerulean blue. But I, I don't have that one. So this watered down one, hopefully, will get close. And that's actually, was did it say ultramarine? That's what it looks like to me. That's all right. We're using what we got. We don't, don't care. It's going to be pretty, no matter what. time is probably enough honestly um probably if i worked on this paper more i'd feel it more confident but yeah let's do two little bits at a time i don't remember what that second green was but it sure is light Oh, gosh, look at how intense that is. Drops yellow right in it. See how that behaves. Yeah, raspberries, we have we had those in the yard here for the longest time. And blackberries. Um, and I know Robert just dug the bushes out. They were really hard to maintain for one thing. Um, keeping them weeded and looking nice was just so hard. And I looked out there one day. It's kind of like the peony bush. Anything. Thing that is hard to maintain. Hi, APG Jamie. Hey, Norma. Um, yeah, I looked out there one day and the berry bushes were gone. But they had started looking really um, ragtag because they're just hard to maintain. So, yeah. Bye-bye berry bushes. I'm painting out of... I'm drawing gnats because... I have um, ripe bananas on the counter. Um, out of the Art for Joy's Sake by Christy Rice. I need a low stress day. This is what I grab. So, um, tried to get gas, but the pumps were not working. Hey, Jamie. Yeah, you've got to do it before the storms get there, right? I feel sorry for people down on the Gulf Coast. Oh my god, they just get hammered over and over and over just almost doesn't seem fair But we get our tornadoes. I mean everybody gets some gas Eileen said she was getting stuff was getting blown around over from the storms as well, so they must be huge I'm going to use that real light green first. 
I think that's the one I couldn't close. This is the ocean green. So this is the ocean green. Oops, I almost dropped the paintbrush right on the, ah, see I did make a mark, but that's okay because it'll come with the brown. All right, the water down, dark, dark, dark green. Not dark enough, obviously. Like one little drop of paint, you guys, is all you need. Or I say paint, this is actually the ink. Like one little drop is it. You can always say too, Jamie. There's spare rooms here. CB is probably nicer than I am, though. She'd feed you better, I promise you that. Don't want to discourage you, but I'm pretty sure she'd feed you better. <laughs> You just no, I know you would because you'd go out and get better take, takeout food. <laughs> we don't have takeout food here, CBs. You've got takeout places there. Yeah, you can visit Branson too. They're opening back up, which makes me really happy. Um, and Norma, now that um, I don't have Roxy, there's absolutely no reason I come to Branson. So I think soon. When I'm healed up and feel like getting out and dealing with the world again, I definitely depend that that will probably be Roberts in my first trip. Because it's close. Um, you're there. And yeah, I'm going to have to break back into the world slowly. Thanks, Norma. Yep, I imagine we'll be. Well, in fact, Amy and I were talking yesterday. Um, it's getting close to the end of summer for a resort area. Um, and I was trying to convince her that maybe her and Lane could take off and, and go with us. Because they're, you know, they're kind of stuck during the whole summer taking care of um, mainstay. So we could all use a break. And they're low maintenance. I wouldn't mind traveling with them. I'm definitely not doing mine like hers. Um... Just kind of practicing and seeing how this paint is working. I like it a lot. All right, I'm going to have to turn this a weird way now because 
as usual, I didn't plan ahead, and I'm going to put my hand in the um, wet paint if I'm not careful, which I do quite, and it's all good. There, can you guys see? All right. If you're right hand, you should start your painting in the upper left hand corner. Otherwise, your hand ends up in wet paint over and over, and over again. That's a lot of paint. Not quiet, sorry. And that green went into the orange, I thought. Yeah, it's still slightly damp. I don't mind. These do behave a little different, like that did not behave ex at all like I expected. I'm going to put some more yellow. I call it paint, but it's actually ink. Put some more yellow out. I will come back and add detail after it dries a little bit. I'm liking the colors so far though. Jamie, if you go to Branson, you better call. We'll meet you there at least for dinner. Okay, here's some yellow that I forgot. I'm 
I'm having to paint without putting my hand on the paper because everything up there is wet because I plan so well. Don't do what I do. Whatever you do, don't do what I do. All right, I'm going to leave that. And then this leaf down here is really unusual because it's got some orange in it. So we're going to re we're going to do that. My little um, elastic is getting paint on it, but that's okay with me. It looks like it's been well loved and well used. Okay. Let's go for this one. trying kind of hard to not go outside the lines, but I'm not worried that much. Look at how much that orange and red just disappeared. Amazing, right? I wish I had a little bit of olive. See how much these colors, yeah. See, this is crazy because when that settles into the pair, that's not moving now, it, which is so crazy and unlike um, watercolor. So it's kind of fun. How many other things you can do? I just mixed a little bit of olive because I wanted it. So it's not a color that I have. I just had to make it. I'm going to 
leave that. And I can't paint the leaf next to it there, and I won't paint that one. I'll come back to it until it dries a little bit. Since I painted myself into a corner again, <laughs> I'll do this little bud over here. Okay, I'm gonna check that. It holds up really well, CB. It's surprising. The thing you'll notice is it um, it feathers around the edge, which I don't really care because I'm gonna do a back. Any other time that would really bother me. Um, but knowing I'm doing the background, that little bit of feathering, it is bleeding a little bit, Xandra. But I think when I go to do the back side, yeah, it'll just go away. Thanks, Dorothy. Um, but, yeah, the, the paper in this book, and I don't know that it ever said it, seemed like I looked to see what kind of paper it was, and I couldn't... Um, Okay, about the paper is this is hot press smooth watercolor paper and will feel a bit different from heavily textured versions. And yes, you can paint on both sides without fear of bleeding. Watercolors that have not bled through, okay, this was just plain old watercolors, probably M. Grams, if I had to guess, or Mission Gold. Um, they didn't bleed through. These inks are bleeding through a little bit, but I don't care. I'm okay with that. So, yeah. You might just keep that it might bleed through. But when I do this back one, I'm going to do probably different colors anyway. So it'll just go in the background. Because, like, even on that painting that I did, now this is on arches. But I, when I did, like, the instructions said wet the whole page. So I wetted the whole page and then started adding the colors. And say up here how that red absorbed into that yellow up there when I went over it it's almost like it disappeared down here you can see some where it absorbed in but there, I there's something about that that I like so if that bothers you be aware of it it doesn't bother me I kind of like that smooshed all together look that's a technical term and you'll probably find it in highly technical watercolor books that smush together thing yeah I'm pretty sure that's um you'll find it in the books and Z I am going to order that um that stencil later on I, I I didn't do it well I did look this weekend but I couldn't see the picture of it so it was like I don't even remember what I was doing and I don't know just because of the, the crap all the week I had, um, I didn't pursue it. So thank you for sending me the picture this morning. Um, and now that I remember which one it is, yeah, you want it. It's like the gothic lettering one, and I like it. So I'll order it at some point. I didn't even get all the way through your website I was looking at all your new stuff the stuff out
And honestly, you guys, if, if you're going to use these, if you bought them on sale, when they were on sale at um, Hobby Lobby, you don't have to paint with these full strength. You could water these down quite a bit. I'm not kidding you. They, the pigment is sane in these. Like really insane. I want to see. Even though I wa wetted that paper and the the ink going directly into the paper. Um, I was just going to see how much I could move them. You better be prepared not to move them much after you on the paper is would be my free advice. Do all that beforehand because you're not going to do it after. Kind of weird too is working with a a limited palette. No, it looks like we've got a lot of colors out here. Like I've got two selections of green, and they don't um, they're not mixing real well, frankly, because the dark green is so so dark. It's all right. Live. It. It's fun nonetheless. I think that enough I can paint next to it now. We're going to find out. You can see I didn't get my brush too clean. Got almost all the leaves. I'm holding up better than I thought I would. I really thought by now I'd be like done. Just done. I think the gift from Lena made me so happy. All right, need a coffee break. All right, need a coffee.
Oh, Elaine, Lena, you're going to have to go back and watch the beginning of the recording. And I don't know, it's probably 15 minutes or so in. Um, she sent me this most amazing traveler's notebook that she um, set up the insides. It, it's the most, um, but it's at the beginning. It's got some peerless watercolors in it. It's got caddy paper. It's got her wise aunt. It's just the most incredible thing ever. So go back and watch it because um, Lena is so amazingly talented. So unbelievably fortunate to be the recipient of her kindness. I'm pretty sure I never did deserve it. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God, is just like the understatement, right? I'm a very, very lucky girl. It was a gift. It's huge, right? Yeah, I know. It's just like the fattest, chunkiest fur ever. And probably if I wasn't all cried out over Roxy, I probably would have cried when I opened it. But I promised myself I was not going to stream today. I was not going to do that. So I called Dee Dee beforehand and cried to her. <laughs> oh, Lena. Hey, Lady Jan. Hey, Joycey. Thank you, Lena. Am I on screen here? I guess maybe when you're sad and you need a distraction, maybe arting is the best thing to do. Because, or because, yeah, I definitely feel more normal and um, lighthearted than I have in a couple of days, for sure. Now look at me. I just did this lower cor right-hand corner and I've got work over here to do. I am a numbskull. I am a freaking numbskull. Could say, yo, oh, wrong green. That's a problem. Picking up paint off the table that you don't that you don't remember. I'm going to leave them like them dry for a little bit. You can't art when you're sad or broken hearted. See, I haven't, um, I haven't felt like a weekend, Mary Berry. I just, I couldn't get motivated to do anything. Um, so, um, Yeah, this actually has been good for me today because now it's motivated me. Um, yeah. So I'm going to make some more of that olive because I really like that. Hopefully I can make it a little bit darker this time. Now I've um, painted my paint so much. Hee <laughs> hee. That... Or my ink. Yeah, that's not the color I wanted. But that's okay. I'll try again in a minute. I'm 
going to do that line down the center last. After it's dried a little bit. So we're going to leave that for right now. Just blow a bud again. Not a butt, a bud. What did I do with the yellow? I'm out of yellow. These inks, they're not coming off. They're not like watercolor. They are not coming off. I need to clean that out. bitch about the caps, I promise. <laughs> no, and I need the orange too. <sighs> Thank goofball. Because I think it's the orange I want to mix with that. That I think is going to be better. Oh, yeah, baby. That's better. Let's see how wet that is. It's not wet enough. This paper does dry fairly quickly. So, yeah, if you're going to get this book, just know that it absorbs the water really, really well. Um, like where I painted that before, it dried pretty quick. So, know that going in but overall for, for this look the paper is really good i like it i wish there was more of these of course i haven't looked for it maybe there are watercolor where the art's already drawn for you and all you have to do is watercolor i mean this is like the lazy man's watercolor but i like it It's nice sometimes just to be able to sit down, have somebody else's art already prepared for you. But I like the drawing of it too, so um, I wouldn't want to do this all the time. But for just want when you want to sit down and paint something, to have the art already drawn is awesome on paper that is designed for watercolor. I don't think there's that many around. If there are, somebody put it in chat so I know about it. Hey, Safia. I wish that hadn't happened, that it hadn't absorbed like that, but it did. And so... Because this is ink, I can't go back and fix that. So that's just going to be one of the things I have to live with. If that's the worst thing I have to live with, I'm a girl. Let's do this little bud down here. looking that's the only leaf I got left I guess everything up there is fairly dry so I could go back and do some detail because I don't think you guys endure the background I'll start it so you can see the process but 
yeah, painting this whole background would be so tedious for you guys. So I'm not going to afford that. But we will look at Lena's TN one more time just because I can't hardly wait to get my hands on it again. All right, this is a leaf, leaf and I got them both wet, which is probably stupid. So I'm going to let that dry before I do any more. Um, otherwise, it's just like a big blob down there. So what's going on in chat? I haven't paid much attention to chat. M much attention to chat. Sorry. All right, I think... I'm going to do the background right in here because that's probably the most detailed. Um, so let me, well, that's drawn quick. Let me see if I'm thoroughly convinced that I want to do it with this. Um, oh, man, that's dark, isn't it? I mean, I don't mind it dark, but it's not going to match next to it. She had to have some art, I think. I mean, I could keep adding water and lightening it. And it's not even the same color. But I don't have the black, so we're going with what I've got. Okay? Okay. Like it or not, you can whine later. You'll pay attention to you. Probably not me. What are you thinking, Joycey? Joyce is saying in chat that she's thinking. So um, I'm going to paint with this big paintbrush regardless. So here we go. See why I don't, I'm not going to force you guys to watch this because this is going to be tedious. And I probably should have picked a brush, but it's okay. We're going to, we're going with it regardless. And I think on her, she did it wet on wet. I'm not going to because I'm just using the one. I might add some water to it to make it look more watercolory, but yeah. All right, one thing I haven't tried with this um, ink. Now, if this was watercolor and that was still wet, I could take a napkin or something like that and go in there and pick it up. This, you're going to have a whole lot more doing that. So maybe I do want to um, do the wet on wet um, to make it look more watercolory. I'm not going to worry about it. But yeah, so just so you know, you're not going to pick this up. Don't expect to. Okay, Joycey said, I was just running through a chat in my memory. Okay. I'm going to get this a little wet. See which I like better. I didn't really wash out my brush, so no worries. And I know I'm so nitpicky, you guys. I mean, if you think it's tough to watch, you should live it. It ain't pretty.
but this will give you an idea of what hopefully the finished product is going to look like. Now I have to worry about the edges so much. Yeah, I like that. I like it. Thanks for coming, Safia. Got to go Dee Dee with her Shakespeare. Cool. Dee Dee, not our Dee Dee, her Dee Dee. This brown is really going to help me clean up the edges, though, which for me is a good thing. Some people might not care. For me, it's a good thing. I can't believe how relaxed I am, you guys, and when I started. Really, when I started this, I was shaken. My stomach was ready to vomit. So, let this be a lesson to me that when I feel out of sorts, maybe what I need to do is just pull out my paints. Because I have to say, I feel tons better having done this. So I'd even consider just not streaming and, you know, putting this on you guys. So, yeah. I'm trying to keep track of the spaces because I don't want to get started in a lot great base if I'm not going to finish it. So. The Road to Normalcy paint. Yeah, Dee Dee, I wish I'd thought of this yesterday. And I wouldn't have spent so much on the couch. <laughs> but I didn't really mind. I had wallowing hurts. But yesterday I wallowed. I really did. What the heck color is that? Okay, I think I dipped in the wrong color, you guys. I got a brown blue. Duh. Oh, well.
Oh, that's too big an area. I'm not going to start that. These big areas out here, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make you guys suffer through that. The small areas, I don't mind. But the big areas, I'm not going to make you guys do that. That's almost cruel and usual. It is good, Jamie. I, I did not feel a bit bad wallowing. Not a bit bad. I, I felt... It felt totally indulgent, and I was okay with that. Um, you usually color to feel good. I wish coloring made me not nervous. Ah. <clears throat> I honestly thought coloring would make me... <clears throat> Not um, nervous, but yeah, coloring, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it another try. I've been a long time. <coughs> All right, here, what little details. I'm going to go ahead. Hopefully, this is dry ink it is. Yeah, it is. All right, we're going to try something. We'll try it up here in the corner first. So if I don't like it, I don't have to continue. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to take some of this crimson and add to the... the um, <coughs> little berries or whatever the heck they are. I guess they are little berries. And then add... Hope I'm not sorry about this. But that red that I put up in there, um, it really disappeared. So I'm going to try and put it back and disguise some of that green that make it look brown. And hopefully by doing this, you're not making it worse, you know? I don't think you ever really know. Especially when you're working with products you're not familiar with. On paper, you're not incredibly familiar. Now, this is totally contrary to what you would do if you were using watercolor. You would never go back in. Well, I can't say never, but... As a rule, you don't want that green there. That's my bad. Um, but you would never go in and re-wet something like this. You'd do it. Because you'd end up picking up the watercolor. But here, since it's ink... Um, It doesn't pick up, which is really nice. Paper had absorbed almost all that red in that. So I bet this is also going to get absorbed very readily. So and I wanted more color. So and the paper. It's not really pilling. Um, if I added any more while it was wet, it would. But it's surprising that this paper really is not pilling, you guys. And for as wet as I've had it and for as much as I've brushed it, honestly, it almost should be pilling. But it's really so I like that. Look who's here, the Pelican Man. I'm liking these colors a lot. I'm going to leave this one perfectly dry. So I'm going to take some of this brown. 
little bit of it and we go ahead and paint what appears to be the peach pit. Because I will be the detail, but I'm going to let it completely dry before I do. I want some really, really light, light, light brown, which is going to be hard. Let's see how light I can get it. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty light. I'm going to try before I finish. I will go ahead and try and, and do some shadow. Don't know how luck how lucky I'll be. Later, Gator. Uh-huh. No, you are. It's Amy's husband coming in to, um, no, that was Amy's husband coming in to use my restroom. Him and Robert are doing something else to sleep. And Amy had doctor's appointments today, so she couldn't be here. Gosh, these colors are vibrant. They do mellow out, though, so don't freak out. Um, I think that's what I was doing earlier, is just like they would show up and I'd be like, Oh my God, what am I going to... But they do... Um, they do really mellow out, so they don't exactly act like um, this, but very, very close. That's starting to peel right there now, so. Okay. Yeah, I'm really, I will do that, Norma. Wrong hubby, yeah. Some days it feels like I might have two. They spend a lot of time together. If one of them has a project, they feel like it's both their projects. So it's good for Robert that he has Lane. I mean, I can't even begin to express how much Lane helped Robert this weekend. Well, and me too. You know, just being thoughtful and kind. Mind. But he's been a great, great friend to Mr. Robert. And sometimes I think you just doesn't seem enough, you know. I might have to do a magical show here. I was thinking about magicals this morning. Fun to get out the magicals and play again. Maybe Eileen would come back. You think? Mm -hmm. 
That's the absolute truth, Norma. Okay, I'm not crazy about these leaves down here. No. I mean, I'm not uncrazy about them. They've just gotten really bland. So I think I'm going to have to go in and re-wet them again. What do you think? I think when the brown background is all over, I'm going to like this a lot better. Let's go in. I'm sure that's the dark green it is. Yeah, no, men need men, friend. And I don't know that anybody, Robert absolutely gets along with Lane so well. Um, so, yeah, i am become really good friends. Robert does have a lot of male friends, though. Um, a really friendly person, but... Um, somebody who likes to do the same kind of crazy junk Robert likes to do, they're rare. I told Dee Dee, was it last week, Dee Dee? I don't remember. You may not even be here still. But um, Robert Vaughn is a crazy, crazy guy. And we had a place up near our Eve where there were wasps going in it. And I thought when they put the new roof on, they had solved that place because it looked like they had some place they could get the attic, right? Well, it didn't take long for us to realize that the wasps are still going in and out. And so we'd try spray and everything else. The other day I walked out on the patio and Robert is out there with the, um, <laughs> with the giant, we call it the giant suck suck, but it's like a, um shot vac right it's like i don't know five gallon huge shot vac right and he's adapted it where on the end of the hose there's like a six foot piece of, of pvc that he shoved down in the the hose which is long anyway but he shoved it down in there and he's sitting at the patio table and i, I kid you not i saw it Maybe the PVC was longer than six foot because it went all the way up to the eve of the house. He is literally sitting there vacuuming the wasps as they're trying to come out or go into this. And it had to be a minute hole at the edge of the roof. He literally sat out there and vacuumed up wasps. And so we've been... Because who would do that? Who would sit there and sh vacuum up wasps? I know he vacuums up spiders. 
Yeah, now he's vacuuming up the wasps. So I'm laughing my head off. I can just he's the craziest goofball sitting out there on the patio with his giant suck suck and his tooth. Only Robert Vaughn. Only Robert Vaughn. Oh no, Kathy Harbour said she did it too. Oh my gosh, just like I cannot believe that I'm I'm watching you do this, that you took the giant suck suck and suck up the wasp. So then it's like, well, how long do you you think they live so the next thing you know we're googling what do wasps eat how long can they live without eating <laughs> they are cannibals they eat each other um so kathy arbor now qualifies for the crazy robert vaughn club <clears throat> i thought it was funniest damn thing i ever saw robert vaughn vacuuming up wasps but I guess it was completely effective. You had a giant hunter wasp, two inches long. Oh my God. It was so effective, you know, because we had noticed the wasps here and there, you know, um, since they put the new roof on, it hasn't been as bad, but there were, you know, commonly wasps going in and out there. And, um, Like, the wasps are gone. They're gone. Like, there's not a wasp around here anymore. So, oh, how big the hive was, or what happened to the queen, because they all have queens, right? Um, but since he did that, no more wasps. So, and then yesterday he got brave enough to um, open up the giant suck suck um, canister. And he came back in and he said, I don't know where they went. There's none in the canister. I was like, well, not back at the nest, so they've almost got to be in there. And it must have been poor lighting because then again, he looked later and he said, yeah, they're in there. And they're in pieces, so they might have cannibalized each other. So if you think you have an interesting life, come live mine. You can live with crazy okies that waspas. I'm glad they're gone, though. I will say that. I'm tickled to death that the wasp problem has been solved. Because really, this everything we're making any difference at all. Not one iota of difference. But he's doing crazy crap like that all the time. He built him potato launcher. <laughs> You're in the rat club. Exactly, Kathy. Killer wasps have invaded our country. Well, don't worry about it. Robert will just buy a big giant suck suck. Robert Vaughn will take care of it. Don't you worry about it. He actually had quite fun doing that. Every time I turn out, he's sitting on the patio waiting for a wasp to come out. It's like, don't you have something better to do? Nope. I'm sitting right here waiting for those wasps like, cool I will admit maybe I'm just not the brightest bulb on the block but I would not have um, thought about doing that just saying I wouldn't have thought about doing that I want to stay away from that brown, actually. Too late now. Oh, it's cra crazy around here. It's absolutely crazy around here. The stuff he does. Keeps life interesting. No. I'm going to work on these leaves some more before I do any of the detail because I, I'm not in love with them. And I'm not sure what I want to do. I know I'm going to add a little. 
a little bit of the dark green so let's just do it and see maybe I won't be sorry That's a lot of yellow. I'll just let that run. I'll decide if I like that leaf. This one and this one, yeah, they're about the same. So that's good. I'm good with that. Add a little bit more dark in here. Sorry if I got off camera there. I wasn't looking up. This is the last paint I'm going to do. Now I'm going to look at my EN one more time. <clears throat> like the center leaves area with the blossoms, this one in here. Yeah, this has turned out nice. And I think all the rest of it will turn out nice. I ultimately will probably into these white flowers and... Um, do the um, shading with some gray. Well, but mine is really quite different from hers. I will say that. So, hey, Carrie Ann, how are you? Haven't seen you in a while. Hope everything's going well. Wrong color green. I'm not going to be here too much longer, Carrie Ann, so you're getting in right at the end. Um, yeah, I want to look at the TN one more time just as I can. Because I can. God, like crazy paint, you guys, or crazy ink. Like, I picked up the smallest amount of that green, and it went cuckoo cocoa puffs on me. This is definitely a learning curve. 
definitely. You'd think I would learn. I've been doing this three hours now. All right, we'll let that dry. All right, I cannot get the can out with any mess here. I mean, I don't mind if it gets worn marks from having used it a lot, but I don't want to trash it out on its first. Good, I'm glad everything's good. All right, let's just look at it one more time because we can. My hands aren't too dirty. All right, imagine you just got the biggest whiff of yummy. in love I can't even begin to describe the amount of love I feel right now and I'm sure every time I look at it I'll see things that I didn't see the first time as I was rushing through like the little charm there the heart with the flower on it oh, it's so yummy here I'll ask you guys advice um what would you guys use this for I'm just curious what would you guys use it for like I'm I'm thinking I want to do sketches in this part of it um, the paper feels really nice for sketching yeah she did she did better than good she did absolutely so freaking loot amazing so I don't know do I want to do sketches in that um, the part that has the writing so on this one I need to probably continue the story of the order of Solomon's Templar daily sketch that's a good idea Kathy graphite sketches see that's what I was thinking just the way that paper feels like graphite Graphite sketches were really good on this paper. And I will, unless I start drawing naked men or something, I will let you guys see what I sketch. Um, yeah, like this one, I should continue the story about my caring for the holy grail of rulers. This is just so amazing. It's just absolutely mind-boggling 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 and your um, calligraphy is really nice too yeah the line paper I don't it feels like the same actual kind of paper the only difference is it's got lines on it but it, it does like the same I could measure it and see you have a lot of different papers that have rulers on them I have to say I thought I had a lot but you have more you know the nice thing and I'm sure all of you by now have um, seen travelers notebooks you have whatever whatever but the thing I like best about travelers notebooks like this one if I want to watercolor on it you can take the whole thing out I hate to take it apart but I'm gonna so you guys can see if you're not familiar you can take this whole thing out work on it and put it back right where it belongs and the acetate over the peerless um, Lena is ingenious as well if I get one wet I don't have to worry about it transferring because it's got N plus if I want to take a little bit off and use this I can use this as a palette so it's like she put a lot of thought into this this did not happen by accident and I love caddy paper and oh my god I can't even tell you how in love I am I am I'm like in love I would marry it and I'm not going to ever get married but I would marry I don't know when Kui is going back to India but I have asked her when she goes back to call back a whole bunch of caddy paper for me because I do like to work on it 
big mother. I'm going to have to get in a really funny mood, Lena. A really funny mood someday to carry on the cone quotes. God, I'm going to have to go look that up. That was the funniest weekend ever. It is gorgeous, right, Carrie Ann? I, I just, I can't e even believe. I'm almost speechless, and I'm never speechless. I'm going to have your purse to take it with me everywhere I go. Like, see how it it's scratches normally? There's some things that those scratches would bother me. On something like this, I just feel like it's almost like gray hair or wrinkles. You earn those. So you get to keep them and wear them proudly. That's how it scratches on this. I wouldn't scratch it off, you know, on purpose. But if it gets a scratch in its everyday life, it just makes it much better. But I will show you what I do in it, Lena. I will absolutely do that. And I hope so much that you're has to you soon. I really do. But this is amazing. This is amazingly fabulous. Thank you again. Thank you. All right, you guys. I'm about ready to call it a day here. Um, move that out of the way. I will take this and it will appear on my Instagram and I will also um, post that cow lily one I just haven't I just haven't felt like it since Friday but I will go ahead and post that as well and um, yeah it's lived in right Joycey very very nice very nice yeah I will go ahead and finish this I will post it on Instagram um, Z I'll stop by your shop hopefully sometime um yeah this won't look like it does right now you like my colors better than the book well uh, one thing you have to is the printer's ink they can only do so much justice in a book don't ever forget that when you're by looking at a book the printer's ink they can only do so much with color separations so um yeah so it is what it is but thank you, CB. All right, you guys, go off and have some fun. Don't feel sorry for me. I'm just out here living life, doing, you know. So, Lena, if I could, I would squeeze you till you cough. I would hug you to death. All right, all right you guys, to each other. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <clears throat> mm -hmm.